In 2010, total number of candidates in electrical engineering appeared for GATE was 52,246, and in 2016 it was 1,25,851, with highest number 1,52,381 in 2013. Numbers are almost increased by 2.5 to 3 times in six years. What is the reason behind this increase? It is because of PSU recruitment through GATE and very limited job options in electrical engineering after graduation. That makes it very crucial for a student to appear for GATE. And in this video, we will discuss how to start your preparation for GATE targeting next year. GATE will happen in first week of February, which gives you complete 11 months to prepare. First is the pattern of exam. The test paper is online and with the use of virtual calculator. There will be 65 questions from which 30 questions will be of 1 marks and rest 35 will be of 2 marks. In total 100 marks. Marks is approximately distributed as 15 marks for general aptitude and 15 marks from engineering mathematics and rest 70 marks from core subjects. Now there will be two types of questions. One is objective type and another is numerical answer questions. Now before you start any subject you have to learn one thing. It is not about how much you know about that particular subject, but how well you understand. IIDs always test students' concept and application of that concept in solving problems. Make your strategy based on this point. You have to study these subjects very thoroughly. Maths, Aptitude, Networks, Electromagnetic Field Theory, Digital Electronics, Analog Devices, Control Systems, Signals and Systems. Electrical machines, power systems, power electronics, and electrical measurements. Now follow these sequence of subjects to make your understanding perfect. Now you should prepare these subjects for next 10 months and assume this complete time is 100%. Now then ideally you should give 15% time for networks and electromagnetic field theory in combined, 10% time for digital electronics and analog devices in combined, 10 10% time each to control systems and signal and systems. 15-15% each to electrical machines and power systems, 10% combined to power electronics and electrical measurements, and rest 15% to maths and aptitude. Always make two level of notes. First with detailed assumptions, derivations, important concepts, tricks, and another with one pages containing important formulae only for revision before exam day. For study material, you can also follow these books. Maths, B.S. Greywal, Engineering Circuit Analysis, Hayat and Kemerly, Engineering Electromagnetics, Hayat and Buck, Digital Logic, Morris Manu, Electronic Devices and Circuit Theory, Boylston, Control Systems, Nagrath and Gopal, Signal and Systems, Oppenheim, Wilski, Electrical Machines, P.S. Bhimra, Power Systems, Nagrath and Kothari, Power Electronics, P.S. Bhimra, Electrical Measurement, A.K. Sohane, and Aptitude, R.S. Akrawal. Apart from these, you can also watch NPTEL lectures for understanding difficult subjects for your reference. Now please remember for getting rank you have to study all subjects. Maths and aptitude will confirm 30 marks and relatively easier to score so don't miss it. And lastly, solve all previous year paper in first 3 weeks of last month. Take any test series and mock test for practice and get used to new pattern. Just revise for last 1 week from your notes and solve last 2 year papers as mock test with exam conditions. And lastly, relax one day before exam. Hope you like this information. Please share this information with your friends and family or who needs it. Comment your thought and any other information you want to know from us. You can also watch our previous video on electrical engineering here. Stay tuned for engineering videos on every Monday. Subscribe our channel for more awesome videos by clicking here. After subscribing, you can also go to our channel page and click on this bell button and check option for notification. This way, we can update you on your latest video instantly. And finally, thanks for watching.